Hey what is up guys, welcome back to our mansion tutorial. In today's episode, we're going to be making our way up to the second floor once again. And we're going to be building a photographer kind of room. So if you come up this main staircase up here, you go up this middle hallway, and you take a left in here, this is where the magic happens. So as you can see, there's a Steve up here having his photo taken. There's also a little kind of uh, table over here for experimenting maybe with different redstones or even just you can make up an imaginary thing of experimenting with different Polaroids and whatnot to add add to the kind of filming and uh, photography theme that we've got going on. Now the reason for this room I honestly have no clue. I just decided to make a photography room. I saw this was a cool build and I thought you know what I've never built something like this in my life so I'm going to try and build this and it turned out pretty good so I'm going to be teaching you guys how to build this right now. Alright guys, so the first thing we're going to do is build this blank canvas in the corner over here. So this is on the right side of the uh, the actual room. And um, we're going to use ourselves some quartz. So quartz stairs, quartz slabs, and quartz block. Just the normal quartz block this is, guys. I use smooth, but if you want to use the normal one, it is absolutely fine. So don't place the stairs yet, there just yet, because I do make a mistake just here. Um, but we are going to bring the slabs along by three, well actually two, um, here is where I figured out my mistake. <laughs> it was kind of like, ah, we need to get that kind of uh, rolling up feel. So it looks like a massive piece of paper has been rolled up and stuck on the floor. Um, so to achieve this, we just pull the stairs forward a block and put the actual blocks back there. That looks really cool. So the slabs are only two, two along. Then there's the stairs and then there is uh, blocks going along. So that is where you're going to have your picture taken because it's a nice blank canvas. And now we need to build the actual camera itself. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab ourselves some cobblestone wool. Stick it. Hmm, where should we stick this? Hold on. Let's get some more blocks. So black concrete. We're going to need a wither skeleton skull. I knew you were probably thinking, what on earth are you doing? A lever. A redstone repeater. And a tripwire hook. And I actually used a picture online for this. I found this really awesome picture. Oh, we need to make the... Dang it, I have to realize we need to make the canvas one more long so it's actually got a, a middle number. Um, so we need to make it five lo blocks long. And we'll make this door a similar shape just so it doesn't look out of place. So these gonna these doors are going to be uh, one block long instead of uh, two. So let's just bring our canvas section along now. So just get the same materials and build it by five instead of four. Like so. And then we actually have a middle number of three. Uh, so on the third, well, basically past the third one, so it's two on each side. I know it sounds really confusing, but uh, it really makes sense to me in Minecraft to just make everything uh, have a middle section. Like seven is such a good number in Minecraft, and so is five. Basically, all the num odd numbers are good to have. Uh, maybe, yeah, I was about to say maybe not so much three, but three does have a middle number, so it's all good. So cobblestone, then we're gonna put two blocks of concrete, then redstone repeater at the end. Uh, levers on the back too there and a tripwire hook on the back and then a with a skeleton skull just there like that what we need to do as well is make the actual lens so if we grab an oak sign stick it there stick it there and then we stick a item frame with glass pane on the front of it to look like the actual camera that looks pretty cool and the with a skeleton skull actually looks like a camera operator so that's kind of cool as well um, and now we need to make the actual person we're taking a picture of well and the the background that we want so you just don't have to use the same banners as me use whatever color you want I'm just gonna use the blues to to kind of mix it up make it look like it's a sky he's being taken a pit in uh, he's having his picture taken in front of so dark blue light blue that sort of thing around like that so eyes and frame in the uh, item frame what am I doing armor stand in the middle guys my bad with whatever you want in his hands so a sword a bow whatever um, and then you're going to stick a Steve head on the top of the armor stand just there. And we're going to grab some armor now, just so he's not naked. So, pants and some, uh, like a tunic just there. That looks pretty awesome. Yeah, nice one. Okay, so now that is done, we can go to the rest of the room. And we're going to build over here, basically our giant table. For maybe if they're, you know, like, it's like a red room. Normally in some photography buildings, there's like a red room where you can kind of get all your pictures properly with the right brightness and you know all that kind of stuff um, to be honest I'm not a very good photographer I only use my phone to take pictures and my latest gadget kind of a GoPro so that's pretty awesome um, but yeah so this, this, this you know if anyone knows a bit more about computers uh, computers photos and whatnot 
um, than me, then definitely let me know. And you can add this to your tutorials as well. And definitely let me know in the comments how you guys improve this, because I know this is not um, like the best for a for a photography room, but like I said, I just I'm not very good at you know I don't really know much about photography, so definitely let me know in the comments below how you guys improve this. So as you can see, I've just stuck little stools around the outskirts, and then we're going to stick some random redstone bits and bobs on the table, just like so, to make it look like they're either experimenting with different photos, or they're just experimenting in general. It could be like a, a science experiment room or something, I don't know. Uh, and then over here, we're going to stick ourselves some redstone, some more redstone gadgets, basically some pistons, that sort of thing, that you can't really put on the table. We're going to stick it in this corner over here, so sticky pistons, pistons... And yeah, I was trying to get this to go up, but it just would not listen to me. So, you can get it to go down. I know you can get it to go down from the scene. So that probably wouldn't have been a better. There you go, like that. That looks cool. Um, that also kind of looks like a shelf. So that's that's pretty neat. And you can also put in whatever you want into this tutorial, guys. It doesn't have to copy mine exactly. Even if you use this as inspiration, I really do appreciate you watching. So thank you so much. And some random hoppers and stuff over that side. Uh, and now we're just going to use, we just need to cover up the uh, the floor now, so we get some carpet. Um, we'll go for red and black carpet for this, because like I was saying about the red room, we're going to have a little easter egg to the, the red room in here, so alternating with the, the red and black carpet there. Let's see what underneath the camera, that's really cool. Um, and yeah, just basically fill the entire section in. Thank you so much for watching this weird awesome video, guys. I really hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please definitely smash a like. That'd be awesome. And if you would like to subscribe for more tutorials and stuff, definitely do that. That'd be epic. You guys have a good one, and I will see you at the next tutorial. And also, don't forget to put in these doors, because, uh... There you go. That looks pretty awesome. Have a good one, guys. Thanks again. You're awesome. Take it easy.